Hey there, I want to share with you my intent, my ambition and my goal for 2021. Let's begin. Seven years ago when I finished university, I did what we all do. I, I followed the norm, I, I followed the usual path and I embarked on a journey to the nine to five. I started a gig, you know, chasing an idea that one day I would make it. In parallel, there's always been this voice inside of my head, sharing and screaming of ideas, thinking about the what ifs and the possibilities and the dreams and ambitions that I've always had. These became my weekend hobbies or the things to do when I had spare time, the escapes I would always be seeking. Time goes on and 2020 was here. 2020 was a lot of things and we can all reflect and resonate on the challenges it included, but also the perspectives and realizations it enabled. I've learned a lot in 2020. I started listening to audiobooks, started taking on better self-awareness, and I took action on things I would complain about rather than make excuses or blame. I took back control. I listened, I heard, I saw more clearly, and I spoke out more. 2020 gave me a fresh perspective and a wake up call to push to be more of me. The biggest realization was realizing that dreams and goals will only work with action. Simple, right? As cliche as it is, if I wasn't going to make a change, force a change and make a hard decision to make a change, then nothing would change. Let me say that again. If I wasn't going to make a change, force a change or make a hard decision to make a change, then nothing was going to change. I've always had a number of passion projects on the side, a YouTube channel for instance, the running, side hobbies and hustles ranging from reselling, building a business and other things in between such as playing the drums, video games and gardening. But what has become super, super clear during 2020 is that I'm doing all these things in my spare time or the lack of spare time. Basically using the sloppy seconds, the scraps, the times when I'm tired, and after hours of what I can just manage to squeeze in. So I asked myself one simple question. What would happen if I had the same time I spent at work doing the nine to five, working, you know, or being on between 50 to 60 hours a week, and that's including weekends. And what if I used that same time on the passion projects, on the goals, on the ambitions, and on the dreams? What would happen? Well, that's my plan. As of today, the 11th of January, 2021, I am on a leave of absence, a sabbatical of sorts. That's right, I've stepped away from my job, I've stepped away from my work, and I'm gonna focus on giving myself a chance. I've taken this opportunity as a chance to give myself a chance to really go for it, to invest in me and my ideas, my passions, my ambitions, and to see what happens, to see if something can stick. So I'm putting my money where my mouth is, and this is what I plan to do and what it will look like. The focus areas will continue to be my YouTube, but I wanna bring my business, Furry, Feather Your Lifestyle, into that. I wanna focus on the reselling, focus on the running, and everything in between, really my entire lifestyle and everything that I'm passionate for. YouTube will encompass all areas, the running, the reselling, and I'll be bringing my attempt to build out my business, Furry, Feather Your Lifestyle. How this will go, <laughs> I have no idea. It's yet to be determined, but I wanna share with you the highs and lows, the ins and outs, and document like I would with my running, if you're familiar with that and share with you also the other areas of my life. It will evolve and pivot as we proceed, but that's that's all part of the journey and all part of the process. If there is something you like along the way, you need to let me know. And if there are things that you would love to see, of course, you need to let me know. Of course, keep me honest and share your feedback along the way. You see, life is short and I owe it to myself to give it a shot, to test out my ideas, to really see if I can make something with my passions, my dreams and my ambitions and see if something can stick and so do you. I want you to come along on this journey with me to learn, to grow, to take action in your own goals and ambitions and dreams. We can do this together. We can support one another and we can grow together. Will you follow along? It's day number one. Let's begin.